Hey, hi out there. It is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Welcome. I hope you're subscribing and sharing with your friends and telling them to like and subscribe. And I'm hoping having you, you're learning something and having a good time. Next topic, I want to talk about short work, work week calendars. As you know, I mentioned that um, the offshore folks will have a holiday in August and it'll be just like our 4th of July here in the States where it was a Thursday and that they're not going to work Friday. Trust me, they're just like us. They're, some people are like, well, why aren't they working? I'm like, they're like, they don't want to go work. They want to take the extra day. They earned their time off, right? People look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, they're people. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Everybody wants to take off and stay with their family or do something. Um, so what, what I found and some of my teams in the past have found is that we actually make a short work week calendar. So let's say your, your scrum is a week long or two weeks long. And you know, two out of the 10 days, which is like 20% of your time, you're not gonna be there and it's gonna be a short work week. And you're probably all gonna take off. So probably gonna be even less time, right? We would go through the calendar and each block, like everyone on the team would go through the calendar morning, afternoon morning afternoon morning afternoon morning afternoon and say what kind of tasks we were going to do like okay i'm going to build a database in the morning and get that set up and then later on i'm going to do the front end and uh, okay while you're while you're doing that i'm going to do some testing maybe i'm going to do some some front end work and i'm going to build up some graphics and some requirements and things like that but you do boom 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 the teams I've had the dot that did that, they actually appreciate it because everybody was thinking about the holiday and helped organize their thoughts on what they wanted to do. It may be seem like crazy, but they actually appreciated having the, the calendar for their short week work weeks just to focus them on what they're gonna do and where they're at. And we would do that during sprint planning session. So not only would we put a list of all things we want to do in sprint planning during these short vacation work weeks we would actually lay it out on the calendar there's nothing wrong with that there's no there's no rule that says you can't put it on the calendar um if there was that would be a stupid rule um but it helps organize that thought and what you're going to do and and the whole purpose part of sprint planning is not just to have a list of things to do it's to give you a visually visualization and for the team to accept the commitment they're going to about to do, make them feel good about the commitment. So how do you feel about the commitment? So by having a list, you know your list. By taking that list and now graphically representing it into a calendar from a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday we're off, Friday we're off, then Monday, Tuesday, when, you know, and, and just go on from there. It helps people feel good that they can accomplish all those tasks on the calendar. Um, in fact, that might not be a bad thing for some of those teams. I might, I might actually try that. Some teams that aren't getting their tasks done. I'm gonna use that actually as a new way of using it. So what I'm gonna make them do, I'm gonna make them go through the exercise for the teams that aren't doing very good at tasking and doing their hours. So this is an exercise. So idea exercise, take the task list you have for teams that don't have doing all their tasks and have them put the tasks in a calendar, just a rough calendar, it doesn't have to be formalized. You know, um, what I usually do is I take Excel, I graph up a little calendar and I give that to everybody anyhow and make little cubes and graphics and then you can just copy and paste them in every one of the cells. Um, it takes two seconds, but then it makes them, forces them to figure out what to do next. And I think that's an awesome idea. <laughs> I think I want to apply that to some teams I have right now that are having problems tasking get stuff done and i'm going to have them actually put like what hours uh what what days are going to do what tasks and, and visually graph it on the screen i think that's a cool idea anyway let me know if you take that idea for daily scrum to work on those teams we can make a micro make a piece of micro content for that um so what we talk about one i hope you enjoyed it um, please subscribe, hit the little bell. Um, I hope you like what we're doing. Um, I hope everything is good. And again, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. 
please subscribe.